Hello and you're very welcome to Lounging with Leamy. This brand new show brought to you by DCU TV, right here from The Lounge in the Henry Grattan building in DCU. This is a show about nothing in specific. It's a very relaxed place. So we're very relaxed with our themes. We'll have high profile people from outside DCU as well as high profile people from inside DCU. Let's get meeting our guests. Our first two guests for this inaugural episode are none other than the Student Union President of DCU herself, Megan O'Reardon, and the very esteemed lecture from the Communications Department, Mary Louise O'Donnell. But Mary Louise O'Donnell is continuing her election 2011 tour of constituency. I spent time with the Residents Association of South Hill. I spent time in the homes of the people of South Hill. Some of the comments. Listening to Mary Louise, she's a tonic. And that's one. <laughs> Another one. With all due respect to John O'Donoghue and Michael Healy Ray, let's bottle Mary Louise. The pint of stout is in the ditty place compared to her effervescence <laughs> and sparkle. She is absolutely inebriating. You're very welcome along, Mary Louise. How are you keeping? I'm keeping very well. Thanks for having me. No problem. Um, this is Leamy's Lounge. It's the new show. So yes, it's very nice, actually. Um, tell me this. So we're going to talk a little bit about you, Mary mm. Louise the person. A lot of people we know, as in we the students, would see you as an uh, influential lecturer. But mm. you're much more than that. <laughs> behind the lecture, there's a lot to talk about. I'm just going to read a little quote from an article uh, written about you in the Irish Times, OK? Mm. But many listeners love her, and O'Donnell can now be picked up across the media spectrum, discussing mm. cesarean sections on the midday show on TV3, sounding off on Tonight with Vincent Brown, explaining opera on John Kelly's The View, or parsing the bank recapitalisation scheme mm. on Pat Kenny's Newsmaker panel. So it's quite obvious from that that you're a bit more than a lecture. I sound like a cheap novel. <laughs> 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 so, Mary Louise, where did it all begin? Well, I, I was born into a background. Um, th my mother was a teacher, and she was a great interest in the arts. Okay. And my father was a wonderful storyteller, and he was also very funny. Shannon, so, growing up, we got both. Her poetry and artistry, okay. and his perception and his sense of fun. Okay. He also loved to paint. Um, so I suppose I, I came to theatre that way and I came to, the, my mother was a teacher as I say, so I had a great respect for education and a great respect for teaching, so was my grandmother and I came from a long line of teachers okay. and I think teaching, I kind of grew into it, and, but I brought the theatre with me. Where did you go to college? I went to college in Nottingham University to do uh, English and drama okay. because you couldn't do drama here at the time right. and then I went to Maynooth. I did um, education in Maynooth, studied uh, there, and then I went to UCD where I did modern drama, and I went to the Guildhall. I'm way down with qualifications now. Never got me anywhere in DCU, <laughs> but I'm way down with qualifications. But I, I had the, the, had the kind of privilege to be around education for a while, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I studied education really as a, a discipline, as well as a, a, a kind of an integrative form and also English and also drama, which is part of it. I don't see any difference, really. I think education, no matter what you do, yeah. is going to stand here. And do you see yourself using uh, your dramatic skills acquired <laughs> every day? I do. I can't you do? help it. Yeah. Some of the press, the cheaper press, it, it called me me melodramatic. God, they might be right. And I remember being out at Friends recently, and they're both psychotherapists. I was very upset about being called melodramatic. Oh, okay. And they sat and they looked at me and they said, what are you upset about? <laughs> Said, because I, I want to be more formal. And they said, but you are melodramatic. Why are you ashamed of what you are? And they were right. I wouldn't say I'm melodramatic, but I am dramatic. But I believe that, you know, if you're going to um, have the privilege of people for three and four hours in front of you, yeah. the least you can do is both educate and entertain them. Did you have a vision? for the communications department. I did. I, I thought that if I started radio, I mean, radio was done as a kind of a small area here, but okay. now it's kind of leaped into, uh, and with other colleagues as well, developed it into a kind of an elective subject. I also thought the student societies, I developed the Ford Awards here, which allowed the student societies, because there's a huge, big thousands of pounds worth of an award, so all the societies began to, because that's how the students live, through the societies. So between drama and arts, and there was a music society, and there was... It is. 
And the, absolutely, and it, it, they grew into something that's quite national on the campus, and uh, in fact have an international um, ethos, as you know, within the dance society would be world class, mm -hmm. and so would the drama society, MPS, all the, the choir, the orchestra, all the different societies, you know, would be the, I think, the heartbeat of the university. Without them, why come? You know, because there's as much learnt outside I think, outside the classroom, mm -hmm. as there is inside, especially at third level. Mm -hmm. To move outside DCU briefly, I want to touch on politics. I know it's yeah. an interest of yours. You would consider yourself a political person? Absolutely. I think you have to be political. If you're not political, you're not living in the real world, because politics is but a is way politics, of life. I mean, is, politics, life. is politics the real world? Well, it creates worlds that people think they should, they, 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 sh they can live in, or that it allows people, you know, the capacity to live in a world, mm. you know, because it decides, even, in that, even um, local politics decides, you know, the trees, mm -hmm. uh, the pathways, the lights, the roads, it decides or doesn't decide on the beauty of one's landscape. The media has painted mm. a picture of political activity in recent mm. years as one of cronyism, corruptness, embezzlement moving forward how do we get rid of that well you know um, it was McLuhan said the media is the message and Martin Cro uh, Crohan he was a lecturer here said if you want to know about culture watch television you mm. know so uh, yes I mean you know I would have said um, and I wrote about this in the Irish Times I would have said that uh, uh, that the bankers were the politicians I mean the, the politicians were boys to the bankers I mean who is God God is the dollar and the dollar is God you know who is the greatest politician the great bankers mm -hmm. and no manners was put on the bankers and no manners still is being put on the bankers and bankers who have brought the state to its knees by incompetence and greed are still there I mean it's extraordinary that we have something about us in Ireland that we will not we will not sometimes ask people to take responsibility for what they do or take it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Louise O'Donnell, it has been an unparalleled pleasure talking to you this evening. Unparalleled. <laughs> thank you very much for coming in. Thank, and I thank you. you. I hope you come back again. Would I'll you? be delighted to. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Seems like everybody's got a prize. I wonder how they sleep at night. When the sale comes first and the truth comes second Just stop for a minute and smile Why is everybody so serious? Acting so damn mysterious Got your shades on your eyes and your heels so high And you can't even have a good time Everybody look to their left Everybody look to their right Can you feel that game? Playing with love tonight It ain't about the money, money, money We don't want your money, money, money We just want to make the world about the yeah bubbling bubbling gonna make the world dance forget about the price tag need to take it back in time the music made us all unite when it wasn't low blows and video hoes am i the only one getting tired why is everybody so obsessed money can't buy you happiness can we all slow down and enjoy right now guarantee we'll be feeling all right everybody look to their left everybody look to their right can you feel it yeah. playing with the love tonight it ain't about the money 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 we don't need your money 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 we just want to make the world dance forget about the price tags it ain't about the oh, bubbling bubbling it ain't about the yeah cha-ching cha-ching gonna make the world dance forget about the price tags Killing people dying, children hurting, hear them crying. Would you practice what you preach? Would you turn the other cheek? Father, 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 help us. I need some guidance from above. Cause people got me, got me questioning. Where is the love? The love. The love. Where is the love? The love. The love. No one. 
Washington gonna make the world dance Forget about the price tag It ain't about the oh, cha-ching, cha-ching And about the yeah, bubbling, bubbling Gonna make the world dance Forget about the price tag Well done, Megan O'Reardon. That was a fantastic performance. We had Collie Ollie there alongside her. And now we will welcome the woman herself into the studio to meet the woman behind the talent. Could you welcome, please, Megan O'Reardon? You are the student union president in DCU. Yeah, I am indeed. How is that treating you? Um, it's an amazing experience. I mean, it's only for a year. Like, you're only um, elected for 12 months, so okay. it's jam-packed with, like, the biggest learning curve I've ever, ever experienced. But it's... It's been crazy, but it's been amazing. Okay, so tell me, Megan O'Reardon in the job, before we talk about you in the job, yeah. we want to talk about you, the person. Okay. So what brought you to DCU? Where did venture begin for you? Um, well, when I was, I'm from Wexford um, originally, and I, like, I know in sixth year where you're just faced with this huge task where everyone's like, you have to decide what you're going to do with your life now at 18 years of age. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I didn't have a clue. So I literally just looked to my mom for a bit of advice and there was this new degree in DCU called Marketing Innovation and Technology and we, it was the first year it was going to be endeavoured upon and it was supposed to be this big pioneer course and you know it was supposed to be this big deal and mom was like I think you should probably go for it because you're kind of creative so marketing would be good but it's good to have a business degree and I kind of have a business head so I ended up going for that in the end but it was purely on my mom's advice like it wasn't really something that I jumped on as soon as I saw it. Okay. You were heavily involved in the drama society in the college. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was heavily involved in drama for the first two years of um, my degree in DCU. Okay. So I would have been involved in acting as well as like musical theatre. Do you think it's a good balance to be involved in your course and extracurricular activity? Yeah, 100%. Like I would say that, you know, any confidence that I've grown or um, any kind of personal skills that I've learnt is very very much because I had the balance between my degree like the academic side of college but then the social and fun side that DCU offers like within the society scene and it's definitely where I made my best friends you know so okay. no definitely like anyone I always when any, whenever anyone asks me for advice on going to college I say get involved you know get involved you won't realize it. until you get involved. Yeah uh, just wrapping up the college part what would you say was your highlight of your college life? Well I was very very involved in dance sock. Okay. And dance is my first love, and it's the one thing that I love above everything else, even above singing. And we went to Las Vegas to the World Hip Hop Championships okay. because our team, our hip hop, our DC hip hop team, qualified um, to represent Ireland in the ad adult category. Wow! Uh, yeah, like it was crazy. I can't Did believe I danced on that before? stage. Did Did a college? No, no. We're the first. Uh, we're the first college ever to go. Um, and represent Ireland. Ireland at that level. Like we're the first to even yeah. try to try and compete to go. Wow. Um, so that was definitely the biggest achievement I think I have um, reached in mm. DCU. And it's just brilliant that DCU allows you to do that. Do you know what I mean? That they, they don't say, okay, you can go so far, but then once you get to college gates, you can't go any further. They don't say, they're like, go, go to America, go to mm. York, you know, do, do what you want to do with your society. Now you're in the union. And now I'm in the union. How does that differ? Um, it's very different. I have a lot of responsibility Okay. On my on my shoulders, um, I mean it's, it's you're the boss. The yeah, book stops it, it, with you. Yeah, I mean it's a lot to do with being president. As you said, the book stops with you, and if something doesn't go down the way it's supposed to, or if something doesn't work, you can't help but feel responsible for it. And I mean I'm answerable to ten thousand students, you know, who want their their money's worth from the union. So you're just constantly trying to make sure that you're you're pleasing as many people as you can, and that you're doing what they need you to do, because they elected you. So if you're not, if you're going off on your own tangents, what you think they, they, they okay. need, okay. I mean, it's not, so you know, it's not a win. Yeah. Very good. It can be scary sometimes. But okay, Megan, we'll let you go. Listen, thanks Great. again. Thank you. Would you consider coming in again, maybe towards the end of the year to let us know how yeah, you're going? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Lovely cool. talking thanks, to you. Ed. you thanks too. very much. Bye. Megan O'Reardon. That's all we have time for this week, folks. Thanks very much for watching Lounging with Leamy. We'll be back again next week in this beautiful lounge Hopefully I'll make the effort to dress better next week because I'm in beachwear and I'm in a lounge. It doesn't work. Until then, God bless. Yeah. Yeah.